Hey, what's up guys? Eric here. Today we'll be taking a bit of a closer look at the ins and outs of making a decorative ruffled bowl. We first start off by gathering a nice sized blob of molten glass out of the furnace. As you can see here, it's pretty hot. It's really hard to control actually, so I'm rolling on the table to help cool down a little. Next, I'll start applying a few coats of whatever color I want. This bowl will be a nice apricot color at the end. If you're wondering what I'm applying to color the glass, it's actually crushed up pieces of colored glass we call frit. I'm gonna give you a couple different angle options. I've got two colors laid out, the apricot and some larger white chunks, as you can see here. After all the color is applied and melted into the surface, I'll start to shape and even out the form into something a bit more symmetrical. Now that it's even and symmetrical, I'll heat it again and then blow a bubble into the glass. It happens fast, but I've trapped some pressurized air inside the blowpipe and we can see that air pushing its way into the glass, forming a bubble. Now I'm going to add a nice diamond texture to the bubble, using what's called a pineapple mold. This mold can be really tricky to use, because if the heat or shape of my bubble isn't set up just right, the glass can get stuck in the mold, which can cause damage to the mold, and definitely ruins your piece, which is no fun. Now it's time to inflate my bubble into a bowl. The tube hanging from my mouth connects to the other end of the blowpipe I'm working on, and it's how I add air into the piece. It's hard to see the texture on the piece, but it's still there. You'll be able to hear it here in a second. If you're wondering where that fire came from, the tool I'm using is coated in a layer of beeswax, which sometimes gets hot enough to combust. We've added a blob of glass onto the bottom of the bowl that me and my assistant are going to even out, get a little more symmetric, Get those angles looking real nice. And off. Nice job. Uh, nice light. And off. Nice job. So, a few steps have been skipped here. We added a rod to the bottom of the bowl, and the bowl has flipped around, ready for the next step. I've got the front half of the bowl nice and hot. I'm using the same bladed tools to expand that hole to get larger and larger. These bladed tools I keep using are called jacks. The final step to finishing the ruffled bowl is adding the ruffles. Now you can really see that pineapple mold in effect here. I'll add a couple drops of water right where the connection of the bowl and the rod needs to help ensure it breaks off cleanly. Here's another shot of me adding the final ruffle to another bowl.
guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more.